you were at an auction or in grandmom's attic and came across something like this, you might run away and think the project was too much to take on. However, this sofa is a beautiful example of a piece that is worth reupholstering. What I look for is look past the fabric coming off because of course you're gonna put new fabric on it. It's the frame itself. You wanna make sure that all of the pieces are intact. And here we see beautiful carving and none of it is missing, which is rare. There's often big pieces chipped off. And all of the legs are in place on the piece. It's pretty sturdy when I'm moving it. I don't feel anything loose as I'm trying to jiggle it. No legs are missing. The arms aren't missing. You would also sit in it and just give it a little test, flip it over, look at the frame, make sure that all the pieces are there. When there's big pieces missing, that's when it gets very costly to have a woodworker come in and do repair. And sometimes a missing leg, you think, oh gee, just the, they could put a new leg on. But sometimes those legs are an integral part of the frame and they're carved in there and placed in such a way where it is a lot of work to actually be able to repair them. Here, all of this is cosmetic. I just wanna point out on the wood here, you see a lot of little holes. Don't be afraid of that. All these little holes are just from the tacks. Eventually the fabric is going to cover all of that up. So when you have new fabric, there you go. That is what you'll see. If everything's intact, you're good to go. You just need to select your fabric and the upholsterer is gonna work some magic